Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's July 19th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of July 19th, waste management is currently sitting at a value of $223.12 each. Republic Services Incorporated is creeping up on them with a value of $203.72 per share. Ranger Energy Services Incorporated is at $11.02 per share. Evergy is up to $55.14 per share. And lastly, Forum Energy Technologies is currently sitting at $17.55 per share. But first up in the news, as reported by Argus Media, former President Donald Trump promised to redirect U.S. green energy spending to other projects, throw out electric vehicle rules, and increase drilling in a speech this past Thursday night where he formally accepted the Republican presidential nomination, saying, quote, all of the trillions of dollars that are sitting there not yet spent, we will redirect that money for important projects like roads, bridges, dams, and we will not allow it to be spent on the meaningless green new scam ideas, end quote. Trump and his campaign have yet to clearly detail their plans, which would likely dismantle the Inflation Reduction Act and the 2021 Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, which collectively provide hundreds of billions of dollars worth of federal tax credits and direct spending for renewable energy, electric vehicles, clean hydrogen, carbon capture, sustainable aviation fuel, biofuels, nuclear, and advanced manufacturing. And up next, according to new data from the International Renewable Energy Agency, last year renewables accounted for nearly 86% of new electricity capacity worldwide. Electricity supplied by renewables like hydropower, solar, wind, and renewable natural gas has increased gradually over the past few decades, but rapidly in recent years. A whopping 473 gigawatts of renewable capacity was installed last year, up from 308 gigawatts the year before, and nearly double the amount from 2021. Because so many renewable energy facilities were built last year, far more than in any other year, clean energy now makes up around 43% of global electricity capacity. In terms of generation, the actual power produced by energy sources, renewables were responsible for 30% of electricity production in 2023. And up next, Clean Fuels Alliance America told the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency that it will sue the agency for what the group says is a failure to issue the 2026 Renewable Fuel Standard volumes in a timely manner, in a notice sent to the organization this past week. Clean Fuels said that in a news release, by statute, the EPA is required to finalize volumes 14 months before the start of the compliance year, meaning that for 2026, the deadline would come at the end of October 2024. In a letter sent to the EPA, Clean Fuels says, quote, the EPA's failure to timely issue the 2026 RFS volumes compounds another issue. The EPA set the volumes for 2023 through 2025 too low. As explained in Clean Fuel's petition for reconsideration of the 2024 and 2025 volumes, EPA said biomass-based diesel and advanced volumes for those years significantly below what the industry can achieve. The result has been a crash in renewable identification number prices, shuttered production facilities, and cancellation of planned facility expansions. While the EPA can and should reconsider and revise its 2024 and 2025 volumes, it should at a minimum set a timely 2026 volume, end quote. And up next, Jivo Incorporated announced this past week that its renewable natural gas business recently achieved record production levels. Stacey Bogue Butchholtz, Jivo's vice president and general manager of RNG facilities, said, quote, 
I am pleased that we achieved an annualized production rate of approximately 402,000 metric meter BTUs in May, exceeding our previous record of approximately 401,000 in March. These results show we have hit our stride from a production perspective, and I think we have room for further improvement too. The system is running well. End quote. On June 21st, 2024, Jivo's RNG production experienced a disruption due to a severe flooding event that impacted the Rock Valley, Iowa community, but the company says they do not expect this to materially impact their annual production targets. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. And up next, a major housing development slated to move forward in Ann Arbor, Michigan in 2025 now plans to operate a unique system to generate its own building electricity. The city council showed its support this past week, approving zoning changes to allow the eight-story South Town project to operate its own power microgrid with energy coming from various renewable sources, including renewable natural gas. The result is a project that is more environmentally sustainable and climate-friendly, according to city officials. Council member Lisa Dish said, quote, this is an innovative project on the cutting edge of a rapidly changing field of energy technology, end quote. The council originally approved the development in 2023. It's slated to replace an entire neighborhood block of houses and apartments with 216 new apartments, plus ground floor commercial space, childcare space, and a plaza. And up next, Chesapeake Utilities has announced that it has secured approval for three renewable natural gas projects from the U.S. Florida Public Service Commission. These initiatives, led by subsidiary Peninsula Pipeline Company, are set to enhance the gas distribution system operated by Florida City Gas, also a part of Chesapeake Utilities. The projects, with a combined capital investment of $46 million, are set for completion in the first half of 2025. Chesapeake Utilities said the approved projects will introduce renewable natural gas from local landfills into the FCG's distribution system, bolstering supply and reliability while supporting growth in Brevard, Indian River, and Miami-Dade counties. And next, Zone Eco, a provider of waste burial, composting, and waste recovery services in Canada, along with Waga Energy, have launched a biomethane production unit at the Cohensville Landfill in Quebec. This Waga box unit will produce up to 30 gigawatt hours of biomethane per year, supplying renewable gas to 1,750 Canadian households and avoiding the emissions of over 5,500 tons of CO2 equivalent annually into the atmosphere. This marks Waga Energy's third renewable gas injection project in Canada, with an installed capacity of nearly 195 gigawatt hours per year. A fourth unit is under construction in Heartland, British Columbia. And lastly, the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, announced this past week that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is investing $90 million in 53 separate conservation innovation grant projects, which support the development of new tools, approaches, practices, and technologies to further natural resource conservation on private lands. This year, increased funds were available because of President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, which is funding CIG projects that address climate change with a particular focus on innovative solutions to reduce livestock emissions of enteric methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Secretary Vilsack said, quote, Over the past 20 years, the USDA's conservation innovation grants have helped spur new tools and technologies to conserve natural resources, build resilience in producers' operations, and improve their bottom lines. Thanks to President Biden's historic Inflation Reduction Act, we are able to further empower our conservation partners, as well as help meet the demand from producers to engage in conservation practices that are good for profit profitable farming, good for rural economies, and good for the climate, end quote. 
And that will do it for your July 19th, 2024 News Roundup brought to you by Recyclist, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we will see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.